What's in the trunk? Oh my goodness. July 4th, 1776, I think. Oh buddy. All right, everyone, it's been a very busy last two hours. I bought a storage unit at this facility. The last time I bought one here was in January. Um, I bought two that were downstairs. Uh, but this one, I guess, is upstairs. You really don't have a choice. But I paid 70 bucks for this unit, and we're going to, uh, we're going to see how well we did. So uh, we do have two lockouts here. These usually are twist. These are put on by the facility. Well, this is a lockout. The other one is, a, is an actual lock. So that shows you that I did not tamper with this at all. I'm not even going to do any, any editing um, right there. I think that's the code. And then we're going to uh, hopefully have this thing open. That's not the right code. They, uh, there we go. Yep, not edited at all. And this is exactly what I bought. So 70 bucks bought... This is a banded unit. Hopefully do all right. I think for $70, you can't really do wrong, but we will see. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. It's never good when you see garbage in a storage unit, but I know from this facility, I've bought a bunch of units here and they are actually unpicked. So although this kind of looks tossed, the units themselves, when I've bought them here, have been really good with uh, finding stuff. Um, it's just a matter of, was this an eviction unit or was this something someone actually stored here? So I think it's going to be all right for 70 bucks. There's a lot of merch here. I do have to go ahead and load up some things into this cart, like this looks like probably going to be garbage, um, and go out and get gloves. So that is definitely a plus. But when you find broken glass and vinegar and toothbrushes, it kind of throws you for a loop. But I do have high hopes here. I mean, there's a chest here. Um, I can't really see because it's so dark. So hopefully I have some lights in my uh, in my van. I should. I have a light in my van. And of course, doesn't work. What are the odds? Not having light is going to suck for the video portion of this. So what I'm going to try to do is try to pull a lot of this stuff out into the light um, and go through it that way rather than show you guys like this. Although it does kind of pick up on camera, it does get a little blurry. Uh, but I'm curious what's in like this box. And you got a bunch of CDs here. These are uh, country. Lily Nelson, Hank Williams. I thought I saw something with... Well, that says 50s. So I'm thinking maybe this is an older unit. Like oldies and all that stuff. Let's take a quick look. The platters, the very best of the platters. Yeah, you got some chart toppers of the 50s. So, some CDs on top of CDs. They do feel heavy, so they're probably in there. As you can see, that one's already in there. It doesn't have its front thing. So, I'm wondering what's in that. That one box there. The uh, the parking situation here is not the best. I have to walk down that entire hallway, go left, which is probably the length of this hallway, and then go outside and go up a hill to the parking lot, which is actually on the street. So um, I'm probably going to be here for about maybe five hours, six hours, but I'm not going to make this video five or six hours long. So we're going to run through it right now. I've probably got maybe five, ten dollars worth of CDs. I'm wondering if this is all CDs. Uh-oh, it says receipts and statements. That, see, there you go again. You can't go based off of what boxes say. Never do that when buying units. Look at all the cassettes. Wow, lots of Alabama. Ironically, the, uh, and you got Willie Nelson again. Ironically, the last Billy Ray Cyrus. The last unit I bought here had a ton of Alabama stuff. Photos, autographs, the whole nine yards. 
So that's actually a pretty good box there. Probably got close to 20 bucks now in CDs. So we're looking pretty good right now, I'm telling you that. Just a random purse. There's a box of paperwork there. Uh, I did take this bin off. This is going to be my stand for, I think, today. I think it's just Christmas-related items. Looks like the whole bottom part's all tins. Like these kind of tins. The Swiss Colony. I like to say these are probably from the 90s. Doesn't say. Legitimately, nothing but tins. What the heck is this? Warner Brothers, 1995. Maybe we got some oldies in here. So I am using my fancier camera today. It does not have a chest mount. So if you're wondering why I'm doing a lot of holding and shooting point of view action, uh, it's a little bit harder to do than having the chest mount, but with the GoPro, it just would not focus in there at all. So uh, to save the video, oh wow, these look old. At least I think they are. It is made in Japan. I think these are called putz houses, putz houses. There's all these little figures. I don't know if they're lead. I'll know here in a second. Oh, they're marked Japan. This camera is focusing weird. But anyway, they're marked Japan. Those are really nice. These might be lead. These feel like lead. Those are really nice. So it's got some vintage holiday. What the heck is that? This thing looks cool. That's also feels like it's lead. It's a wishing well. Well, I wish this whole unit has a bunch of old stuff like this. That is made in France. Something depos, depos. Mark made in France. So, wow, that's actually a nice looking box there. Very cool. If you really like the vintage holiday, I just opened up this box that says fragile Christmas porcelain ceramics plus glass. And I was like, I hope there's a Christmas tree in there. I'm saying right on top, this guy, marked Made in Japan, if it ever focused, there you go, on the top, sort of at the top, the top of the, the bottom. You can see it says Japan. There might be goodies in here. That's just the bug. But there might be goodies at the bottom. Maybe there's a ceramic tree in here. Maybe there's more goodies. You never know what's in this shoebox. Maybe paperwork. No. Shoes. Shoes in a shoe box. Who would have thought? I think I just found the Declaration of Independence. Something unanimous declaration of the 13... Well, I just guessed it says 13 mil. States of America. July 4th, 1776. I think that's when the declaration... If it's not, well, then the today it is. But the Declaration of Independence found in storage unit... In a box full of uh, bath towels. And a plate and a stuffed animal. One lonely plate. I also think that might actually be old. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Look at the glass on the bottom there. The ruby glass. It looks very well made. It's got... I don't know what's in this. <coughs> the dust is too much. What's in the trunk? What is in the trunk? That's new. Don't lose the Declaration of Independence. Don't lose that also. When I talked to them on the phone, they are like, make sure you return the lockout and then also the lock. Uh, because if you don't, it's 50 bucks. So I'm going to probably even just put that in like the next time I walk out. What's in the trunk? What, what's behind the trunk? Pampered Chef box. Oh my goodness. No way. Do you see this? You know how hot this stuff is right now? Sway glass, right? I always get to see. There's like three different words I think it is. I think it's swag. I think it's sway. And I think it's slag. I'm pretty sure it's sway. 
Um, I don't know what colors are like the best to have. That is gorgeous. Wow. And I just got back from Lambertville. I should have brought it there. And then look at this piece. Oh my goodness. Is that beautiful or what? That is nice. I don't know what else is in this box. Looks like just clothes, dresses. The clothes don't look too vintage. Oh, scarves. Wow. That is beautiful. I can't believe that's in here. Well, I can kind of believe it, but I can't believe it. Oh my. That's See, if that was like put up somewhere, somebody would be like, oh, there's probably mid-century stuff in here. You know, and it'd go for a crazy amount of money. I see a Hess box. This is a great unit so far. Oh, wow. What the heck are these? Are these real? Are these originals? Oh, my goodness. These are those cast iron horses. What the heck's in this? Hmm? A napkin. All right. Where's the rest of the horse? Shouldn't have another... I feel like we're missing some things here. There's broken glass, of course. Why won't there be broken glass in here? So that's cast iron. I'm thinking that's probably a reproduction. Um, that's my guess. Usually these horses will have, or these horse carousel, what are, not carousel, um, whatever you like to call it. Um, the wagon behind would have a seat and then usually two people sitting in it. Um, this is a little bit larger than the ones I'm used to, but it's got some serious weight. I'm going to just have to do some more research and figure out what this is all about. I don't know why. This is... The issues of storage units is I think you try to look too much into them. Like, why is there a napkin with a napkin ring and with that with broken glass? You know, like, what's the deal there? But you got to think of it as merch. It's a lot of merch here. Um, and we haven't even gotten to the fun stuff. Whatever that might be. Books. <sighs> Guys know me. I was just at an auction with a ton of books. Although I'm not going to be able to hit every single key point in here, I'd like to mention, I believe this is a mailbox, and it's about a $5 bill at the flea market, maybe $10 bill. You want to sell one? Uh, I'll probably get five and sell it within the first couple hours, but maybe I'll do Leesport or Lamberville and try to ask 10 for it. I don't know, but I just wanted to make note. It's a $5 bill. If this room was filled with just nothing but $5 bills, we would be really, really good, um, successful, whatever you like to say, but... um. We got some good stuff so far, and there's a lot to go through. But, yeah, just want to make note of it. This right here um, will probably be donated. It's a gingerbread house tray. Glass platter. You know, I'll take it to the flea market, try to sell it, but, you know, I do donate a lot. That's Mark 2018 receipts, and it's looking like it's got to be receipts. So that one's marked correctly. Gotta love a box of books. It's got a lot of books in there. Not only any kind of book, cookbooks. Entire box of cookbooks. Nice retro looking mirror there. Now check out this find. This is, I want to say, will wash you away, but uh, there's a lot there. And it's got some weight. Oh, we got booze. That one's empty. That is not booze, that is hot sauce. You don't want to drink that straight. This is, but I don't think I would drink this. Look at, look, I don't know if you can see it, it has like a, <laughs> I don't know. A lot of different decanters. Tropical Pepper Company, so there's all ha habanero hot sauce. Four extra hot. 
So that's your hot sauce. Mix it with some booze. Walker's Wood, seriously hot Jamaican. John, John Jacanu pepper sauce. This thing is still sealed. I wonder if this is even good. I feel like it wouldn't be. Best before January 2015. So yeah, I don't think it's probably good anymore. Took off my uh, my sweatshirt. I was starting to sweat so bad it just it was too much. And it's actually kind of a cool day today. So uh, I'm finally moving this furniture that's in the front. Very very nice, I would say. Actually, it might even try selling it. It is in gorgeous shape. Um, and has the glass insert, I think, was on the side. And I packed that up probably like two loads ago. So, very, very nice. The, the sad thing is, like, I hope people out here appreciate this furniture. But if I brought this to the city, I'd probably get at least 100 bucks for the set. Actually, interlock really nicely. Very nice. See how that goes together? And there is actually a glass piece that I put in the van earlier. It's actually a really thick piece of glass. Um, but that looks really nice. Uh, maybe I'll even Facebook Marketplace it. Marketplace it. I don't know what the uh, the style is. I don't think that's mid-century French, maybe? I don't know the correct terminology. I think that's Raton or something. Something like that. You can let me know down in the comments section. I'm just a guy that cleans out the storage unit. I'm not the expert. You guys are the experts. Let me know what kind of furniture that is. Is this more hot sauce? My goodness. Someone loves their hot sauce. And January 2014. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say these probably aren't good anymore. Yeah, look how much that's settled on the top. Hanks heat hot sauce. And it's, it stinks because a lot of this stuff is still brand new. Like, you can see, oh, well, that that just happened. But, like, for Hank, good old Hank over here, that's still brand new. It's still sealed. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to sell it. Georgia peach and Fidelli onion hot sauce. Yeah, they must have just really loved hot sauce. I personally hate hot sauce. I hate anything hot. Just doesn't go well with me. Burns my face off. That doesn't help. Oh, we got some records. I think that's what these are. So what, 45s, I believe? Let's see what we're working with. There's another box over there, but I won't bore you guys too much with records, especially if you're not into music. Or if you're someone like me, I'm going to butcher every single... This isn't records. Phonograph record record case. Well, gosh darn it. What about the other one? Nope, no records here. But what the maybe, maybe records? These aren't records. What am I talking about? They're sliding out though. But this has the whole list of so you must have got rid of the sleeves. Yeah, they're records. There you go. I'm starting to lose it. Um, Conway Tweety. Lasting Love. So I'll bring these to the flea market. Unfortunately, these are... I think the ones people want are LPs. What's I looking at over here? No, they're records. Jack Scott. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to sell, but I'll give them a go. Records are one of those categories. If you know, you know. This one's heavy. Christmas dishes and glasses. I think that's what's in here. That is what's in here. Does anyone need a full set of Christmas dishes? You got one right here. Made by uh, Tian Chan. Tianchan. That's kind of cool. That's the only thing really important, I think, in that box. A little stool right there. 
I don't know what you really, I don't know. Maybe like a squirrel can sit on it. I don't. So yeah, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, it truly helps me out. I will be going through the rest of this on camera. I'm not going to end the video right here. We're going to knock out this whole storage unit. But just if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. It truly helps me out. And if you enjoy watching this kind of stuff, storage unit, clean out's the real deal, subscribe down below. I also do have a storage unit playlist, so check that out afterwards. But uh, we got probably about another six or seven uh, dolly loads to haul out of here. It still looks like we have some things that we haven't found uh, what they truly are yet. So... Let's dig more in. This is really nice. Like most stuff, not worth a ton of money, but uh, just a really nice little stool right there. Probably about five bucks. Really easy, simple sell. Great for the market. Uh, yeah, so what I kind of do on these videos is I kind of try to pick the stuff out that I can show you, but at the same time, what you might feel like on camera I should do first might not make logical sense for me while I'm doing this. So I'm trying to grab like the bigger items, the boxier items to create a base in my van so I can put stuff on top of it uh, rather than just working from the front to the back of the, of the unit. I try to figure out what I can put on the bottom of my van. That way I don't have to make two trips here because uh, time is money and gas prices aren't getting any cheaper. Finally, might have some clothes. I don't know what the heck this thing, oh, that's for like a cat, I think. I don't own a cat, so I wouldn't know. It's so also probably looking at me sideways if I gave her that. Um, garbage. So it turns out this Hess box I actually thought was really cool. I don't think it's actually anything to do with Hess at all. Now it looks like a hat box. Pretty good condition, so I was thinking it's a nice fancy hat. I don't think it is. No, definitely not. Got some ceramics. Always good for some ceramics. Oh, got someone's easy pass. I don't, what the heck am I going to do with this? Doesn't even have a, it doesn't even have an account number on it. It says account number and then just blank. More ceramics, Easter ceramics. No, uh, no Christmas ceramics in this one. Do have a toolbox in the back which is always good. Don't think we're going to find a huge collection here. But you have your common household tools, some adjustable wrenches, screwdrivers, caulk gun, some spackle knives, tape. Somebody was working on some project in there. So that is that. This is not really worth a whole lot. Probably get five bucks for the whole thing. I say it's not worth a whole lot because if this was loaded with tools, at least just this toolbox, there's no telling how much it would be worth. It's a little beat up over here. There we go. It's got weight in it, like it's almost like it's full, but it is not. I don't think this rug is really valuable, but... I'll run it one time at the flea market. What's the worst that can happen? We have some boxes in the back that are taped up, so we're going to pop them open and see what's inside. Just kidding, it's not taped up. It was taped up on... Wow, I got really pale there. There we go. Uh, it was taped up on one side, but the other side's completely opened. It was just upside down. So let's give it a quick look. Maybe we'll get our camera crew to... Come over here, camera crew. Come on. Come over here. All right, camera crew is back, aka myself. I don't know why I took off my glove, because I hate grabbing stuff when I uh, don't have... Oh, nope, the Bible's in there. What is that? It's getting very... Uh, property of standard overall service. I'm not familiar with whatever brand that is, or whatever this is, but it's a blanket of some sort. I absolutely hate that material. I'm grabbing it. It just does not feel good. It's just a whole box of blankets and a backpack. So blankets will get donated. I do donate a ton to the... We don't have... Uh, well, I guess maybe it is a... It's, it's the animal shelter around here. I don't know what the actual brand is of the animal shelter, but uh, they do take these. I do donate them um, if I can't use them. Uh, they do not get thrown into a landfill. 
Uh, they do get repurposed and uh, animal out there can have some cleaner bedding for a little bit. Uh, I don't know if they wash them past that. You know, I just drop them off over there and they don't pay you for any of your time or any of that. It's simply, it's a donation. I don't get any tax write-offs or anything like that. Donate is donate. You give away whatever you want, but it's donate. So I do donate that stuff and they do enjoy it. So, you know, as someone who does a lot of these videos and a lot of this kind of content, I do come across a lot of stuff and I do not like throwing things out. Whenever I cannot throw something out, I try not to throw it out. That's kind of cool. Got uh, the states on there. We also have this really nice plant stand over here, which I wanted to show you before it gets wrecked. It's even nicer than I thought. Looks like it's missing drawers. It's supposed to have some drawers there. Right now, I guess they're just shelves. Maybe they are supposed to be shelves. But it's a nice little piece there. Not often do you find with legs like that either. Got some nice legs on it. picture frames. This box actually smells not the best. Probably because it has yellow onions in it. That had probably been here for a very, oh my gosh. Wow. The mold on that one piece was something I'll probably never forget. That is incredible. Wow, that smells really good. We do have one sports jersey popping out. I seen it right here. I don't know what it is. It's a football jersey. I don't know if it's Bron Oh, it's Bears. One sports jersey. Ooh, that's a nice one. Guess it's the 100th anniversary. This is a nice looking jersey. I don't know if it's legit. On camera it looks... Eh. Look at that. Well, sell for like five, ten bucks. Yeah, now it's off. Everything about it looks off. But it's a nice jersey if you're a Bears fan. And you are an XL, even though I don't know. That. So the units kind of look like a mess right now. Almost finished. We have these two really gorgeous solid oak chairs right there and right here. So this is going right on the dolly. Uh, my van is getting very, very full. And I want to say I'm getting very, very tired, but it's been a long day for myself. And uh, the storage unit is starting to kick my butt here towards the end. It's the uh, going up that ramp outside. I should show you just that if you're very curious about how this is. Um, this whole box right here, that was Mark Pampered Chef, is all records. Unfortunately, it's not really genres a lot of people want. In fact, I didn't really go through it. I just saw that it was records. And usually when you see the first five or six, you kind of have an idea of what you're dealing with. Best of WC Fields. Kenny Rogers isn't too bad. But... We don't have any of the very hot genres, so not going to say it's going to be trashed, but it's going to be hard to sell these. That is for sure. Oh, it's, is that a television? It's a TV. Huh. Look at that guy hiding right there. And that, I assume, is probably a Ryobi saw. We have garbage in there. I don't like when I see garbage. Yeah, why is there, like, straight-up garbage? Wendy's cups. That's never good. I don't know why, but this corner intrigues me. That red box kind of intrigues me. Hopefully it's not... Well, it doesn't feel empty. Yeah, I got a shoe box down there. Let's see what's in this guy. It is taped. Oh. Chinaware? China plates? Oh, it's I think a ceramic cookie jar. That's my guess. Ceramic cookie jar. And those are the pieces. K 
camera work was not the best there, but yes, ceramic cookie jar. Current situation in the van. It's getting pretty full. That's the van for you. It's also, we're on a hill. If you don't believe me, watch this. Let's keep it over there. Just. Jeez. Oh, now I got a nice green mark on my van. Oh, it comes off. I'm trying to show you a point here. I'm breaking my stuff. Some more really just oddball stuff found in the back. These are all brand new old stock. Homeland water filters. These might actually be expensive because I know I replaced my water filters and I think they're only like two for 25 bucks, but these look expensive. Just really oddball, like what even is half this stuff? Got me in a pretzel. Tomatoes filters, you know, you never know. I think it'd be 20 bucks a piece on eBay. Maybe more. It adds up. Everything adds up. Kind of down here to the last corner of items. Drag them out to the front. That's actually a shoe box that's empty, so I just got faked out right there. Maybe I'll actually I'll save that to put all these packet peanuts in. That is very weird. Virginia Tech track pants. Oh yeah, University of Virginia. No, <laughs> I was going to say you have all the Virginia schools. T-shirts, mother stiff. Looks like the last corner right there is going to be all closed. Now one thing with the storage is there wasn't really a lot of um, uh, food or cups and bowls. There was two china sets, one for Christmas and then just one that was a normal set, which I think you often find a lot in these storage units, but um, uh, there wasn't any food aside from the hot, the, the hot sauce, um, hot sauce. Yeah, there wasn't any food in here, which is kind of weird. I think with all these eviction kind of units, there's always is food. So with that said, there wasn't really a lot of kitchen stuff. So like always, these units throw me for a curveball, but you guys see what the real deal is. This is a real storage unit with real stuff. Nothing here is planted or staged. Um, this is it. This is what you find. This is the cool stuff that you kind of come across. And uh, fortunately, I can do stuff with it. You know, I don't plan on throwing things out and just chucking everything. Plan on selling it, donating it, uh, maybe using stuff myself, but uh, it's not going to the landfill. I'm not just getting rid of the stuff to create a YouTube video. Uh, I actually do stuff with the stuff that I find on the channel. So, really cool. Lots of fun. Let's check out this last bag. I think it's closed, but we'll see. Got some clothes on the floor. Uh, it might not be closed. These are closed. I felt something... Almost like a hard piece of plastic. Maybe a speaker. I don't know. It's very light. Probably all just garbage. Yeah, that's what it is. It's actually garbage. It has like Twizzler wrappers and Burger King cups in it. Oh, that was nice then. All right, so that's going to wrap it up here for today's adventure. We found some really cool things here. Uh, at the uh, storage unit, uh, we did buy it for 70 bucks, and uh, it's all cleaned out. Everything hopefully will fit in the van. I have this piece I got to put in there. There's that one. I can't remember where it focuses. And that piece that has to go in there. Uh, as well as a couple boxes of garbage. My broom. My sweep thing. Dustpan. Uh, but yeah, the storage unit is cleaned out. Crazy, ain't it? That's a 6x10 unit cleaned out in one day. All done, all in one video. We got ourselves some new windbreaker, ja uh, windbreaker pants if you want to. I'm tired. I gotta get to uh, somewhere. Somewhere I'm gonna get probably the biggest burrito north of Texas. That's what I think I'm gonna have for dinner.
treat myself for a long day of work, a long day of adventures, but it was a lot of fun. Like I've always said, if you guys enjoy storage unit clean outs, you enjoy treasure hunting, you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below. I will be posting a bunch of storage unit videos and mystery palette unboxing videos here in the fall months. So uh, stay tuned. I'll definitely be doing more. And uh, this was fun. Stay tuned to see where it goes. And catch you guys next time for next adventure. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.